Hey, it's me, your friendly neighborhood put ahead. I can re predict that this is going to have the weirdest preview pick ever. Um, it, uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a messy five bun updo. Now I've already put, put a good part in my hair. I've parted my hair from the ears forward and I've taken like and put up the middle section here at the top half and we're going to do five messy buns. So I'm going to split it down the center here. Oops. So you can see I did try this before and it came out for whatever reason. I don't know. That was weird. So I had to start over. What's going on here? Okay. So you do a twist, like one or one and a half twists. You take and make a cage with your hand and push it down. Now we're going to take, I'm putting the hairpins like this, one, okay, so here's what hairpins do, let me find to see if I can find a thicker, here's one is you take, oh now my contact spot's in, oh well. You take and you put it straight down, you turn them, and you push them in. That's how they go. So let's do another one. So this hairstyle, let's see, this hairstyle is based on a tutorial I saw by Lilith Moon, which I'll put in the description box. Below. What she did is she made a bunch of regular buns. But as you can see, if I make regular buns, they're teeny tiny and worthless. What am I going to do with five of these? So I'm going to do my regular messy buns. So you twist, cage, and push. So, um, This is how I do my big, if I do one messy bun, I do it like this too. But if I do that, I use the goody spin pins. So that's, um, so my hair today is terrible. We've got terrible do's and my hair has just been cranky lately, but when your hair is cranky, that's, you always want to have some, at least one go-to up to you can do really quickly. Oh, I did another, I got this one ready and did it in the center too. The same thing, twist and smash and Okay. Now, if you got, ugh, my hair keeps getting caught. If you have shorter bangs, you might want to do the thing where they go, you go like this and like this, and you just so your hair will stay when it, when it gets back there. My hair is gonna stay, and I don't really care. I could do that; it would make it look more. Probably would look better, but whatever. I'm not doing that. Your you twist. Smash. And then one last one. Make sure I got some of these so I can grab them easier. 
you know, they have, um, when you have hairpins, I've got these hairpins that are, um, look at this. I've got these stupid thin hairpins and I just hate them. I don't know why they make them. They give you, when you buy hairpins, you get a thing of hairpins that actually they have like a rubber banded and you get some that actually work and then they give you these stupid thin ones. And I'm down to just the thin ones. It's probably time I buy new ones again. Because that would be why my hair keeps coming out because it wouldn't come out if I had regular grown-up hairpins. I don't know what these things are even supposed to be for. So that's basically it. I'm going to um, shut off the camera and get my mirror and figure out the back and I'll, yeah, because I'm going to have, this is a problem, get the figure stuff out. But that's basically what it's going to be. I'll fix it and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. If you're wondering about this sweater, the sweater is one that my grandma knit for my dad when he was in high school. But my poor dad is so hot that he couldn't wear it. So anyway, so all I did was I pinned, um, I pinned anything out that if it's sticking out and I want it out, I pinned it in. That's basically what I did, and I sprayed it. And here you go. It's messy, but it's supposed to be messy, and that's the look. So waste the wavies.